Hey, speaking of football, we have the Rocky Mountain Showdown coming up this weekend over Mile High. Everything's looking good for that game. In fact, weather looks pretty good around Colorado for the next several days. Let's take a look here at Doppler 4000. Very clear skies across the vast majority of the state. There could be an isolated pop-up thunderstorm this afternoon in the mountains, but if that were to occur, we will not see any of that storm activity move east and therefore a completely dry day for Denver, the Front Range, and the Eastern Plains. Pretty much the polar opposite uh, compared to what's happening right now in Texas. The rain continues in the Houston area. We were talking earlier. Some locations have already seen more than 30 inches of rain around Houston and in southeast Texas. Here's the latest projected path. Harvey, by the way, is now a tropical storm. It's uh, between Corpus Christi and Houston. It's going to make its way out in the Gulf of Mexico and then turn around, come back inland. It should be in western Louisiana, not far from the town of Shreveport by Thursday morning. But even as that storm slowly makes its way north, it's going to continue to inundate this region with more and more rain. I showed you this map earlier. I thought it was worth bringing back Houston an additional 15 to 25 inches of rain, which means rainfall totals will top 50 inches in some areas. That's why we have the catastrophic flooding there. Will any of that moisture reach Colorado? It won't. We've got this area of high pressure that's just blocking the flow of moisture trying to make its way uh, west out of Texas. One thing to point out, though, is that this area of high pressure that's blocking the Harvey moisture is going to drop south. It's over Las Vegas right now. It'll be closer to Tucson, Arizona uh, by the middle of this week. And as that high drops south, it's going to open the door for some moisture to come into Colorado from the other direction, from the Pacific Ocean. And as we see that additional moisture will bring in a better chance for seeing thunderstorms in the mountains by the middle of this week. The chance for storms in the mountains tomorrow will be higher than today, but I think it'll get even higher as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. And by the very end of the week, perhaps one or two mountain storms will be able to move east into the metro area and therefore starting Thursday will put back a small chance for a late day thunderstorm. But today really the story is the warm weather highs up around 90 degrees. Similar numbers coming our way for tomorrow. In fact, many spots will be a degree or two hotter tomorrow then we will end up being here today. We're expecting about 89 for a high here this afternoon in the Denver area. Tomorrow, about 90. Not much changes on Wednesday. And then, Alan, those small chances for late-day thunderstorms come our way on Thursday and Friday. And then I just can't believe it. Next weekend is Labor Day weekend. Maybe a small chance for a late-day thunderstorm around here Sunday and then into Monday a week from now. Highs in the upper 80s to around 90, mm -hmm. just above normal uh, for the Denver area area in early September and of course September usually a beautiful month for us and mm -hmm. overall the start of the month looks pretty nice. All right.